As trust between the Allies and partisans grew, we began to coordinate our efforts. They had brought down a plane in the mountains nearby and wanted our help to recover its cargo. Nazi scouts got there first. I had to eliminate them before they could send a warning. The Allies knew that the Germans would beat them to the crash site. We had just minutes to lay an ambush and hold them off. I had caught the German scouts unawares. With surprise on my side, I would take the perfect ambush position. I was curious about the cargo on that plane, but I had no time to think about it. The fascists were coming. Defeated and in disarray, the enemy fell back with one 
repaying the Allies for their help at Pazzano. We had sent a message to the Wehrmacht and given ourselves belief that we could strike a blow against the might of our enemy. Before Dante's death, we had received word that a high-ranking German officer was traveling to the region to take command of the German forces in Calabria. Dante saw the opportunity to cut the head off the snake. Dante had dropped me just a few streets from a church that overlooked the docks where the general was arriving that evening. It was the perfect vantage point. My first challenge was to get there. I was deep behind enemy lines. Death hung around each corner like a shadow. I fought to focus only on reaching my target, just like father had taught me. But I had never known such fear. The general's arrival was just minutes away. I steadied myself before unlocking the gate.
I had made it to the church. Now came the hardest part of all. 